this action, Andrea Lee, Amanda Blumenhurst. We watched her yesterday. This for a birdie at the fourth to get to 13 under. We saw some pretty amazing golf yesterday, but it looks like she just put that pedal to the metal, putting well, but she is chipping well. That one almost goes in. That would get her to 14 under. But the story right now on the golf course is Davey Weber. This at the ninth for a 30 on the front. What a way to make the turn. Uh, golf just seems a little bit easier because that's exactly what Davey is making it seem like. It's very easy golf. Well, she goes from a birdie at the ninth. This to get her to... 13 under and watch it and this was not an easy putt this was downhill breaking left to right how about at the 11th for seven straight birdies that's right seven straight for davy weber and that puts her into a tie for the lead Out of that lie, that's a really good shot. This golf course would really set up well for Jenny. She's not particularly long, but is accurate. Um, that hurt her uh, her chances early in the season. At the ninth, Alexa Pano, her second. Alexa won as a teenager. Yeah, I got to keep it in order. No more if it's dying, just left edge. started it too far left that will be the first bogey of the day for Coglin. falls back to eight under it's gone to 14 strokes in putting so it definitely has improved alexa pano at the ninth for birdie oh yes so that's little body english. i would say you have to use a little bit of body english to get that to go in She's got it back there. It's a really impressive shot, as you say, just in the zone right now. Whatever's there, she handles. That was a good roll. Yeah, it was absolutely perfect. Uh, this is the distance that you want to have left. You're not quite the knee knocker. Fairly stress-free, but gave it a chance. Lauren Coughlin has a chance to get a, one back here at the ninth. Yeah, it's all about the bounce back. That's a nice bounce back. Yes. We were talking about... Davy Weber's uh, pace on her putts the last hole, even though she missed it. Yeah, really from downtown, having to judge the correct pace can be tricky when you're that far away, but she did a great job, really solid strike. Davey yeah. Weber does it again. She has the lead at 15 under. Jenny Shin now for birdie at the 10th. Jenny Shin with that. She gets to four shots back of Davey Weber. Let's see if we get this in the correct part of the equator of the ball. I remember one year on the Corn Ferry Tour, I was playing with... <laughs> The carbite rep, and I was using one of his putters, and the head fell off halfway through it. Rayshon Liu now for birdie at 13. Right in the center. And she has a beautiful swing to watch. This is my 100 yards. Oh, and it needs to sit down. For a slightly loose bit of distance control there. Really been in contention in the LPGA. Second for Jenny Shin at the 11th. Jenny is playing some great golf the last few weeks. Finished tight for third. Just hadn't been the season I expected, but she can do something here and have a special week. Yeah, what a great time for her to do it as well. She was on the Solheim Cup team last year and
She's got it. Remember her putt on the previous hole, that lag putt was a really good one, had good pace. She had to hit that quite a bit out on the left and really well paced. Even though you don't always love to leave birdie putt short when you're in a position like that above the hole where you don't know, be quick and can really truck past the hole if you hit it too hard. That's a very relaxing tap in. For a birdie to get to 12 under. And Jenny Shin, don't sleep on her. No, with the way she's playing, like you said, that tied for third in Canada, tied for 12th, the Moon Evian. Played in her career without a win until last week. Samantha Wagner at the 16th from off the green for birdie. Uh, well for, done, little uh, for, fist bump. Yeah, and see, for a lot of these players like Samantha Wagner. Somi Lee for birdie at the 18th, her ninth hole of the day, and Somi Lee gets to 10 under. Davy Weber has made basically everything today. Well, another layer of distraction just got warm for slow play. So they're yeah, going to have a rules official with them. Not seen that happen. Pano, second at the 12th. Look at this one. Now she's 44th in tour in distance. So really going to try to take advantage of her length when she can. The par fives. Jenny Shin's last one was way back in 2016, the Volunteers of America. Uh, she's definitely been playing solid the last two years, so knocking on the door of another win. She's done a good job managing her way around the course and leaving herself fairly simple putts. And she will have a fairly stress-free par here at 15. really impressed with her putting stroke. She keeps her head down for such a long time. Everything is just very solid. Even like that tap in, she just mm -hmm. kept her head so still. You've got the stats in your favor today. Jenny Shin to get to 13 under. Just did not hit it enough. That was right in the heart of it. Eagle. What a job right there by the 19 year old. Ration Liu for Birdie to get to 10 under at 15. Ration Liu, she's starting to heat up now. Not always going to happen uh, for standouts when they're younger and. Uh, she's won already on the LPJ tour as an 18 year old. She just said, be right. That was pretty good. But no problem for her. This was a moment ago, third shot for Allison Takamiya. The amateur at a George Fox University holds it out. She's got some fans here. She could, she could cover mm -hmm. some ground and make that cut. Now Pano a chance for another birdie. Oh. Could not capitalize off that beautiful tee shot. And because of that, she can take a much more aggressive line. This is such a higher lofted club than if she was 20 yards back, not having got that great bounce. At the 14th, her second shot. I absolutely love her putting stroke. Mm. And that just took that turn to the left, hit something. Maybe that Poe? It looked like a perfect putt. It looked like she had judged the break. Uh, absolutely perfectly and just yeah, it took a weird turn at the end. 
I was talking about how this is a really good course for Jenny. She is 23rd on tour in driving accuracy. So although she's not one of the longest players, she's going to find those fairways and then really take advantage. She's 26th in greens and regulation. That was a gorgeous shot that spun back close to the hole. Just 19 years old. Oh, oh what a putt. And two shots back at 13 under. Polly Mack taking advantage of the par five. Oh, oh wow. Just did not hit it high enough. That was a good stroke. A missed opportunity right there for Jenny Shin. She just really has played stress-free golf today. She only missed one fairway all day, only missed one green all day. Polly Mack, her second at the 11th. We were watching Polly Mack on the range, and she has a lower ball flight than most people. Davey Weber. A second round, 62, bogey free with 10 birdies. What a performance, a career best for Davey Weber. Now Corpus for birdie at 14. Yeah, he had such a good shot in here, a little right to left up the slope. There you go. There you go, he's right, she needed that one. That gets her to seven under. She had to do the conservative play from her position off the tee, just kind of punch it out there. Wasn't able to go for the green. Uh, but wow, what a beautiful little chip shot. Oh. oh that was really well read because I thought she was going to lose it on the left side. I thought it was going to break down the hill. She didn't play it high enough, and that was straight. To the 11th, Polly Mack, the first round leader. For another birdie. Oh. With the airplanes flying up above, Polly Mack gets to 14 under. Now this her third. I almost was thinking she might chip that in. I found a landing spot over the fringe. Just have it. For her par. The 19 year old. Twenty sixth on tour in greens and regulation. And taking advantage of her great ball striking with a beautiful approach shot on this par three. Gauge and guess what this might do coming out of there, but you'd rather have it try to bounce short. It actually came out fairly clean. Oh, come on. Oh, Keep on going. Get in. Keep on going. It's oh. in. Wow. I don't think she knows that she made it. She has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> An eagle for Corpus. That helps. As we go out to 15, Cheyenne Knight has this putt for birdie. Yeah, about 20 feet coming down the slope. Oh, no uh, problem. How about two, three <laughs> on this first two players? From the fringe. This is a big putt for her to go in to make birdie get closer to that cut line. This is Pauline Roussine Bouchard for birdie to get to the cut line. And yes, she knew it. She did. And made a nice birdie in the last hole to find I made it on the cut line. I was like, ooh, <laughs> I, did. I didn't know that one really mattered. Jenny Shin, who's been stuck in neutral, gets the birdie putt here to fall at 16. So she goes to 13 under. Eagled at the 12th hole yesterday. Yeah. And she gets a birdie here. Polly Mack at the 17th second for Alexa Pano. What a 
nice shots. Here's Jenny Shin, second and 17. Those are three good shots into the green here. I really like putting with left hand low on short putts. And that just leaked a little bit to the right. You see that she was playing it straight, which is what I saw. A couple of missed birdie chances for Shin on this back nine. Oh, and that just caught that right corner. Back up the hill. We didn't see a ton of movement. Alexa Pano is now eight under on her round today. At 18, it is Pavarisa Yoktuan here for birdie. Sitting right now on the cut line. That helps. <laughs> no need to worry about the cut line now. Gets to six under. Great way to finish her day. First team All-American, three years. I'm never going to say that. 146. This is on a great line if it's the right club. Oh, oh. it's the right club, and she almost dunked it. Polly Max, second at 14. We sit really on. This is a very gentle flag. Room around it. You can be free. This is right at it from 120. She will have that putt to tie for the lead. Looks like it's a fairly straightforward bunker shot, though. Not too much of a lip to worry about. Oh, she made the, that look very easy. Yeah, she's sitting 14th on the Solheim Cup points. She has quite a ways uh, to go up the list. And she rolls in the birdie here. Well, Polly Mack has this putt to tie for the lead. Uphill all the way, just moving right. And she knew right away it was never online. Think about what Polly Mack is doing. Good for her to make this one, make dinner taste a little bit better. Oh, she hit, kept it high enough. What's incredible is that Jenny Shin, seven under 65, yet it could have been easily a 62. Sometimes that French collar can give it a weird bounce or take off some speed. It seems to behave itself, but still short of the hole. A little tap in par. At the 15th, third for Polly Mack. It's a difficult enough shot as it was, but it stayed on that slope. And so it's a very difficult to get the right content. That just came out fast. Polly Mack at 15 for bogey to just drop one. She does just that. So she now falls back into a tie for second with Andrea Lee at 14 under. Two shots back of Davy Weber. Polly Mack coming off her first bogey since the first hole on the tee at 16. Let's see if we can hit this right in the middle of the green. Oh, she's taking this straight at it. What a shot. Good way to come back after the hiccup on the previous hole. Because she played so well and succeeded at such a high level at the Epson Tour. I think that was really important for her to play well here. Now, Gustava. Oh, nicely done. Natalia Gustava there with a birdie at 17 to get to nine under. Got a ball, half ball left side. Uh, she was expecting it to just die. She, she hit that exactly where she was aimed. Par for Mac, and that was a good putt. LPGA Tour Korea YouTube, 구독, 좋아요.